Hello YouTube! It's time for a debate. If you didn't watch my last video where I discussed what this entire video series is going to be about, then I suggest you go back and do so. I will be posting a link down in the bucket, so it should be easy enough to find. Now, before we get into the actual debate, I'm smoking Cornell and Deals. Big and burly. And yes, you may have noticed I'm in a completely different setting than usual. Uh, I'll be making another video about that. So, what is the first debate subject going to be about? I'll tell you. It's about aromatics. Frankly, I think aromatics are completely unnecessary. They are out of date and a relic of an old age. I don't think we should still smoke them. I don't think we should acknowledge them. And apparently somebody thinks they're going to text me. I'm going to ignore that. So, this is why I think that. First off, they take... Nah, let, let's go with this. Aromatics, more often than not, drive off new pipe smokers. Maybe at one point in time, people used to light up an aromatic and go, Whoa, this doesn't taste like a cigarette. But more often than not now, new pipe smokers aren't cigarette smokers. They're people that are interested in smoking but not smoking pipe or smoking cigarettes. So they pick up the pipe. And then they try an aromatic. And it tastes like cough syrup. So that's point one. Drugstore aromatics drive off more people than they gain. Point two. Non-drugstore aromatics, the aromatics blended by the big names, the ones that you buy in tins, the ones that you can proudly say that you smoke, take good tobacco and ruin it with syrups. More often than not, you hear people talk about how they can taste the Virginias along with the flavors added. They can taste the Burley. They can taste the Perique. They can taste all this and that, plus the flavor. But why does the flavor need to be there? What purpose does the flavor serve other than to mask the flavor of the tobacco? The tobacco should be enough. I smoke a pipe for the tobacco. I'm sure most of us smoke pipes for the tobacco. Yet, more often than not, there is uh, these just sickly sweet syrups added to good tobacco. Why? Why do we do that to ourselves? Why do we buy these things? Why do we try them? They're unnecessary. And furthermore, it's worth noting that years ago, yes, if you wanted to have a hit of nicotine and enjoy flavors other than tobacco, you had to have an aromatic or an infused cigar or quite a few years ago, a flavored cigarette. However, that is not the case anymore. Now, you can pick up one of these and it's simple. You don't have to light it. You don't have to do anything like that. You have to remove the bottom part, pour in juice of any flavor you can imagine, push a button, and do this. And you're done. I just got a flavor of apple pie. 
and it actually tastes kind of like apple pie. Now, if you can show me a tobacco that tastes like apple pie, please let me know, because I imagine it's going to taste like burning apple pie if you had never had apple pie and only was told what it tastes like. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. So, that's my debate subject. Simple, aromatics are, in this day and age, unnecessary with vaping and do more harm than they do good. Now I'm going to tag two people whose job is going to be to disprove my opinion. Those two people are Nick, the smoking Irishman, and Dan, pipe smoker Wales. You guys, you already know what your job is. You are waiting for this video to come out so you can make your responses, I hope. So I look forward to them, and I hope you guys tag at least one other person each, because I want to see who's on my side. That's all for now, YouTube. See you later.